Hey guys, Jacob with Infuse Studio here. Just wanted to do another quick tutorial on Substance Painter um, Normal Baking. Uh, in this video we're going to be going over um, a situation that you might have had before where you are baking at 4K with anti-aliasing but you're still getting some weird um, striations or um, unevenness on your bake along the edges. Um, so the way to fix this is something that you might not have heard before or you might have, just depends on your training. Um, so back over in Maya what I'm going to do is see how these UVs are uneven and not not completely straight. Uh, some of them are, some of them aren't. So what what we're gonna do is use the align selected UVs to maximum value, either up or down. In this case, I'm just gonna do down, so it'll align it to the other one and make it completely straight. I'm just gonna keep. We're just gonna do that to all the things all the UVs just use your best judgment on which to align it to and then uh, you might get some overlapping so you might have to readjust your UVs so if you ever see any problems like that always fix it before you start doing any detail work um, always make sure your bake is good before you start anything else um, so let's look at this. Let's see if there's a lot of stretching going on. Probably should move this over some, maybe. Or maybe not. It's probably okay where it is. Just moving it makes it worse. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to do that to all of these. And just make sure that it's a completely straight line so that when you bake it, you're not going to get any of those problems, those weird jagged edges. When you know that it shouldn't be because you're baking at like 4K and have anti-aliasing on. Sorry if this is a bit boring. Some of these are already pretty good, as you can see. Oops. And but it's always good to make sure that to go through and do them and make sure that they are all lined up very well. And so this is probably one of the big problem areas. If I turn this on, to see the stretching, you can see that there's quite a bit of stretching going on on this one. But that should be okay because Substance Painter it always um, compensates for that. So a little bit of stretching isn't too bad, but um, what we really want is just a good bake. So, let's do that to this one. See, these are way off. These are probably where all of our problems are coming from. Okay, so we're getting a little bit stretching, but um, and we can go back through and see what 
what we can do later on to minimize that. Like with these right here. That helps a little. But like I said, Substance Painter is really good at keeping stuff okay when it's a little bit of stretching like that. Um, if you were texturing in Photoshop or something, obviously that wouldn't be a good idea, but it should be okay. So we're just going to export this. Um, if you need guidance on exporting and um, setting up your mesh, preparing your low-poly mesh for baking and substance painter, then check out our my other video on that. So what we're going to do now... Reimport it, and it's going to look terrible. I'm going to turn this off and um, go ahead and bake. It's going to take a second. Okay, so let's check out our results. As you can see, even without any um, anti aliasing. We're already getting better results. I mean, this is a completely smooth line compared to what we had before. Um, we're still getting a little bit of weirdness there. I'm not sure what that is. And also a little bit of bleed here. Um, but not sure if that's even going to be doable. I might have to just paint that out. Um, sometimes you're just going to have to paint out bake issues regardless of what you did to try to fix it. I might go back through and look at this one. But I think that I got them all. So you can see that we got a very um, a good result in a very short amount of time just by straightening out UVs and, and doing a re quick rebake, uh, even without anti-aliasing. And, and this is definitely something that took me a while to figure out because I just I was never told that this would matter. Thanks for watching.